nuclear weapons politics today are divided between a coalition that regards international security as being provided thanks to nuclear weapons in another coalition that seeks security from nuclear weapons. And so regardless of how the struggle between those two camps unfolds, those weapons will be part of our future for at least 10 years, which is the time it would take to dismantle the ones we have now. And if we don't dismantle them, nuclear weapon states are planning for much longer term modernization and perpetualization of life with those weapons. So short of a civilization ending disaster, we have to live with nuclear weapons for at least a decade. The point of the lecture today was to help students understand how the choices of our nuclear weapons policy are structured and how we can avoid the illusion that there is no alternative thanks to the findings of independent scholarship. Those findings have to do with the drivers and pace of nuclear proliferation, the role of luck in avoiding unwanted nuclear explosions so far, and how we're tempted to deny this role and overstate our control over the weapons. It also focused on how we can know and measure people's attitudes, knowledge, uh, and support or distrust vis-a-vis -vis existing nuclear weapons policies. With all three of those aspects, citizens of tomorrow will have a clearer sense of the choices that they can uh, make of our nuclear weapons policy, because the bottom line is that they don't have a choice to be affected or not, they have a choice to be active or passive in the face of that existential threat.